Cody Bradshaw here with Team Prodigy. Uh, welcome to another episode of Tips with the Pros. Um, today I'm going to be going over a very underutilized shot that I think can help a lot of players get out of some trouble um, if they don't have the proper line. So today we're going to go over thumbers. I like to use our Prodigy hybrids for thumbers. Um, I use the H1, the H2, and the H3. Um, I tend to pick certain different stabilities uh, to allow for different quickness of pans, uh, for slow pans or for really quick pans. Um, I like to use the H3 for quicker, um, the H2 for kind of semi-quick, lower thumber shots, and then my H1 uh, flat, really nice and overstable. This one is for my distant thumbers. This is what I use um, if I need to go high over some trees or just long tunnel shots that I know that it's just gonna go down the tunnel perfectly. I like to use the standard grip that I use from people like Weston Isaacs, Matt Dollar, and Brian Schweberger. Um, I put the thumb on the inside of the thumb track with my middle finger, that's kind of my pinch point, is I'm pulling the plate down into my middle finger, and then I use my pointer finger on the outside for the guide, which kind of helps me determine what I want my angle to be at. Um, angles are really key uh, when you're throwing thumbers. We like to have a lot of angle if you kind of want a quick pan uh, and less angle if you kind of want it to just slow pan out and not really full flip, especially with, the, with uh, this uh, really overstable stiff plastic. You'll find that it'll kind of slow pan but won't really come all the way out of it. All right, so the mechanics of the thumber throw. Um, we have the grip, grip is all set. Uh, the throw is basically just like a center fielder throwing a baseball from the outfield. Um, all we like to do is we like to keep it a little bit more compact. We don't really do like the sidearm kind of out throw. You really want it to be compact and straight up and down. Um, when you're throwing it, the release is a key, is a key point. Um, my middle finger kind of helps me guide the release. And when I release it, it has to be up. Like I know that I want it to go upward. Throwing a flat thumber, dead straight, kind of just makes it dig into the ground, cut roll off somewhere, or you get kind of a slow pan and it doesn't really do much for you. So when releasing your thumber, always focus on your angles. That's the key part. Uh, you need to go out to the field and practice and know how your disc is going to react to each angle. Um, and never throw it straight up and down unless you're going for max distance. Otherwise, you're always releasing with a slight angle so that the edge can dig and create the pan that you need. All right, so here for a shot like this, um, it's a tight little tunnel, uphill, low ceiling. However, lots of room up above. This is a shot where I would particularly probably want to throw a thumber here. Um, there's not that much wind, kind of a little bit of cross tail, so I know that it's gonna fight the disc a little bit and kind of not want it to pan, so I'm gonna go for something a little bit quicker. I'm gonna take my H2. And with the pan, I know that it's gonna pan out quick and it's gonna to wanna to come back right immediately. So I'm aiming a little bit left of the bucket. And I'm up on top of the hill. So now I'm gonna switch and throw the H1. A uh, little bit, way more overstable actually. Um, kind of has a slower pan. So this one I know that I can aim it kind of straight at the bucket and let it kind of fall. I'm gonna put a little bit of the angle on it to help fight the wind. Kind of let it fall really quick towards the bucket. Right behind it. One of my favorite discs for the thumbers is the H3, the 400G H3. Um, very reliable, I know what she's gonna do every time. Uh, she has, you know, like a quick six second pan to her. It doesn't last very long and I know where she's gonna end up. Uh, this one again, I'm gonna start just over the left tree here and kind of let her come back into it. Ooh. Almost. 